Hi, my name is Dan Lo, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Spin. And Spin is a MIPS32 simulator uh, where you can uh, run your uh, MIPS assembly program. Okay. So first of all, you have to get a copy of MIPS32 simulator Spin. So you can go to uh, this uh, web page the http pages.cs.wisc.edu slash to the l-a-r-u-s slash bin okay so you can you know, get some information from this page if you scroll down you will see several versions of uh, spin so if you are using the Linux or Mac OS then you can click this link to get a copy of spin and here I'm going to uh, use the Microsoft Windows, so I choose uh, uh, this link. If I click on it, it will be redirected to Source Forge. And here there are a couple of ver versions of the spin. And the one I'm using is PC Spin 903.zip. So click on it and download it and insert it into your computer. Then you will have a copy of spin. Okay. In case you need more information, you can go back here. Then you can uh, find more information uh, from this page, such as the uh, Appendix A from the textbook, Assembler, Linker, and the Spin Simulator. You click on it to get a copy of it. I will get getting started with Spin. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to use Spin. So after you install the Spin to your computer, you select PC Spin. And the once you start the PC Spin, it gives you to it. Windows, the PC Spin main Windows and the console. So the console will allow you to uh, see some uh, control information messages. And the, uh, the main window here, PC Spin, uh, it gives you a several uh, stack of the windows. The first, the first uh, pan, the first panel gives you uh, the registers values. Okay, from the R zero to R. Uh, 31 okay and other special purpose registers and 14 point registers as well okay then the second panel here it gives you uh, the code uh, the, uh, uh, the machine code followed by the assembly code and then this gives you the uh, memory content and then the last one this panel gives you the message you know? okay so since the uh, the PC spin does not provide any editor, so we need some editor to uh, program your MIPS assembly program. So the one I use, I use the Notepad. So go type Notepad. Okay, then let me enlarge the font so you can see it uh, better. Okay. So the first one I'm going to do is very simple, like uh, uh, add two numbers you know, together. So I need to define a main uh, label. Okay. Then I define uh, I move the some value to T0. Let me maximize this. Okay. And then three, for example. Then I set some value to uh, T1. So now I set the T0 uh, register to 3 and set T1 register to 5. And then I add them together to and put the result to T2. Okay. And then that's it. So after I done coding, I save this assembly program to uh, somewhere I know where to get it back. Here I set it to drive C, then spin. And make sure you set that the type of to all files because we need to set the file extension to ASM. So let's just call this uh, file test.asm. Okay. And then save it. And then uh, keep this uh, keep this window open, you know, just in case you need to modify later. Okay. So now let's get back to the PC spin. And now we can load the file in. So go file open. Okay, now I go to the drive C then spin 
in the data test book we just uh, edit it. So open it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I set breakpoint before I run it. So click on this hand here, set breakpoint to the beginning of the program, which is the main. So I set it to main and add it. Okay, then close it. Now I can run the program and when the speed spin run the pro load program, it will run it to the entry point, which is main in our program. So I say go. Okay, and then click OK. Then the uh, piece will ask you the breakpoint uh, encounter, which is the main, the entry point of the program. Then continue execution and say no. And then now we can take a look at what is the code there. So remember the main, we add the, the uh, T0. Uh, we, we add I, T0, 0. 0 is the 0 register, always contains 0 and 3. So we set the T0 to 3. Okay, so after this instruction, the T0 should be 3. So in order to run this uh, statement, uh, step through it, we go to the simulator and then choose single step or F10. Okay, so a single step. So watch the change here. The T0 now changed the value from 0 to 3. Then we run the step, uh, single steps again. Now you will set the T1 to 5 after we run this. Okay, so single step. So T1 now got the value 5. So if we add T0, T1, and put the rel to T2, the T2 should get 8. So again, we sing single step through it. So now the T2 got the value 8. Okay, so that's all I have today. Thank you.